Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today I wanted to talk a bit about this Black Rhino Concealment TCS holster. I've had this for a few weeks now and it's been holding up really well and so I wanted to talk about it. I've been wearing it uh, pretty much everywhere I'm able to, almost every day. So let's get started. Um, the very first thing to have a little bit of a background as to why I selected Black Rhino other, other holsters because there are a bunch of good holster makers out there but the reason I specifically went with Black Rhino is because I've heard of them previously through my father he has two of their uh, FCS holsters. He has one for his Mantis, hence why it's red, Mantis colors, the Mantis X10 training device, as well as one that he just kind of has uh, set up just to go on his belt, just pretty normal. Both of these are for his HK45 Tactical. And they've held up well for him for a few years, so I selected the TCS holster, as I mentioned, those other two that my father had are the FCS. The reason I chose this one is the FCS is just an outside-the-waistband holster, whereas I wanted this for everyday concealed carry. Generally, when I'm carrying lately, it's been appendix carry. Now, on that, I did want to mention uh, Black Rhino Concealment. I'm not sure if it's a new product, maybe I just wasn't paying attention when I ordered this, because it was a little while ago, but uh, they do make an appendix carry holster. However, the reason I chose the TCS is because it is convertible between uh, inside the waistband and outside the waistband. Uh, as I have it right now, if you can see these belt clips right here, that's how it attaches, of course. Um, these are for inside the waistband. When you order these holsters, you can specify if you want it inside the waistband or outside the waistband. Um, it doesn't actually make a difference. All it means is they're just gonna, they'll install one of the belt clips for you. Uh, and they actually come with both the outside the waistband and the inside the waistband belt clips. So inside the waistband are right here and outside the waistband clips are right here. These would just go uh, right on the rivet holes here as you can see. Um, just one on both sides, one on each side I should say. And most of the time so far I have been just appendix carrying it and although it's a little bit, uh, it's a little, I don't know, long, uh, it doesn't cause any issue with me like when I'm sitting down or anything like that. I mean, I, I know I have a holster and like you can feel it a little bit, but not, it doesn't cause any discomfort. Um, I do wear it occasionally outside the waistband at 3 o'clock, depending on the jacket I'm wearing. Not so much lately because it is getting warmer, uh, but I suspect that when it becomes colder again around here, I'm going to be probably exclusively going to that. Just because of the type of jackets I wear, it tends to conceal better and is quicker for me to pull out when I'm wearing those types of jackets. So a little bit about the configuration of this holster itself, without getting too into mundane details. Uh, they have a lot of customization options, which are pretty cool if you want to get like a flashy holster. Um, I got this mostly for concealed carry, so I wanted it to be green because I tend to wear a lot of green, as you can tell. And uh, I don't know, that way it blends in a bit better, just in case it happens to show. And, and I just like green in the first place, so it really doesn't matter. Um, you can select what type of rivet color you want. I chose FDE. Uh, they also have black. Um, you can change the inside color versus the outside color. Really cool stuff there. And one more thing I thought of after recording this segment about just a bit of talking about the customization. Since so I know a fair bit of people actually care about the color, I wanted to just show. Uh, so here's a Viltor stock in green and a BCM pistol grip in green. And comparing the color to this holster here, you can see the holster is... Um, uh, these are more olive, you can see. And the uh, holster itself is more of a true foliage green. There. That's not really what I wanted to focus on. For configuration, what I did want to focus more on is you can specify a whole bunch of options on how your gun's set up. So in my case, with this holster, uh, I currently have it, uh, I had it built just for my P320, which is just in a stock configuration currently. Um, but I got this made for a X300 to go on it. Uh, I have it cut for a red dot and suppressor height sights as well. And you can specify all sorts of things. You can specify what type of light you want it to uh, fit for. And uh, I'm not sure if they do it anymore, but I know when my father originally ordered the first uh, holster he bought, this level 3 holster from them, uh, they had an option where you could actually send in a specific light uh, if you had like a weird one, because they have a bunch of uh, lights that you can select on their drop down when you get the holster built, but they don't have all of them, so if you have one that's not on their list, at least back then you could send it into them and have them build the holster just for that light. And I was considering doing that because I used to have a Zenico light on here, but uh, ultimately I decided to take it off because uh, it doesn't have good enough range. It's super, super limited. 
Now, of course, since I have this uh, P320 just in the stock configuration and this holster is built for all those attachments on it, it's a little bit on the loose side, obviously. Um, but if I take the light off of the HK45 here, I just want to show that, of course, it will tighten up on the holster. But just to demonstrate it, um, I would say that even without all of those attachments on it that it's supposed to have, it's still... it. So it's loose, but it is tight enough to where I, I'm totally comfortable with wearing it every day for everyday carry. It's not gonna fall out. And on that note, here we go. So lights on here. Now if I put this in here, very tight fit, as you can see. Uh, personally, I actually think this is a little bit too tight of a fit. Um, you really have to pull it. Uh, not the easiest. I mean, it's a little bit of a hard way to a little bit difficult I should say to demonstrate it when I'm not actually wearing it but you really have to pull it to get it out if you can kind of see there you really have to give it a firm tug which is definitely good you don't want it falling out but it could be looser and not be an issue rather than trying to show how um, tighter this is um, while I'm not holding it, I actually have the holster on me and I have the light on here right now I'm out at the range so I'll just demonstrate a bit here So hopefully you can see, I kind of have to really pull it out. Um, it can get a little bit awkward sometimes, but it's definitely still doable. Uh, as I said, I do think that's a little bit on the tight side, but yeah, this covers this segment. Now back to the main video itself. Another thing I did want to mention, just kind of comparing this TCS uh, to their FCS holsters, and I'm not sure if this just is specific to the HK45 Tactical because this has a threaded barrel, whereas my P320 is just a standard barrel. Um, but you can see on the bottom of the holster here, of course, the TCS I have here, uh, totally enclosed, which I like for concealed carry, whereas the FCS is open on the bottom. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure if that's because it's a threaded barrel or not. I kind of am thinking maybe it's not because you can see the rivets here. Uh, I may have to throw up something on the screen so you can see that a bit better, but the rivets here, there's a little bit of a gap there, uh, not just the gap at the back for the threaded barrel. And speaking of retention and how tight it is in the holster, one other thing I did want to mention is uh, it, it is a pretty tight fit. I'm not getting too much holster wear. So in the past, I am pretty new to concealed carry itself, but I have worn holsters quite a bit. It's been a while. I need to get back into it. I haven't been practicing pistols a whole lot lately. But uh, yeah, I, do, I did used to wear a bunch of holsters in practice with handguns a fair bit, uh, just garbage uh, canvas holsters like Condor. Um, cringe but at any rate um, I got more holster wear on my guns on, from those than I did with this so far little bit of holster wear that yeah, I don't even think you can see on the video because it's so so little on the frame itself and I got a tiny bit of holster where it looked like on the frame or um, on the slide I should say uh, but just before the video I wiped this down just with a silicon cloth and uh, just a little bit of polishing on that area just took it right out one other thing uh, you can get, uh, you can specify how much cant you want on the holster. Uh, 5, 10, and 15 degrees, I believe, is the options they have. I chose 15 degrees just because I wanted to see how it would feel. I've never used a holster with cant on it before, and uh, personally, just for me at least, I would prefer no cant, so I don't know if that'll be helpful for any of you. It just feels a little awkward uh, to pull from that sort of angle, though sometimes with how it, or actually quite a bit of the time with how it sits on my body it does help it to not print as bad so kind of things to consider there anyway i don't want to get too into the weeds on the configuration i did because it doesn't really matter i want to focus more on the holster itself and it's been great it's been holding up really well um the cant thing you know as i said that's that's just on me you know it's not like they did a bad job it has the correct amount of cant it's just i wouldn't do that again if i ordered it again um the only thing I can say that I don't like, uh, I'm usually pretty patient. I don't care how long an order takes. Generally, I've waited seven months for Zenico furniture in the past, which was not fun. But um, 
This took, uh, they had an eight week lead time. I thought like, okay, maybe they're just giving themselves extra time. Because a lot of the time, in my experience, I've noticed like uh, companies will put in a pretty long lead time and then they ship it out like a few days later anyway. Uh, in this case, they say they have an eight week lead time and they really had an eight week lead time. Um, but I got it really fast after they completed it and shipped it. Um, they have an option to expedite your holster. I have no idea. I didn't bother to do that. I just waited the two months and uh, I got it. Uh, I could see that being an issue if you were really concerned. Uh, if you're in kind of a more dangerous area and you want your uh, holster for a concealed carry quick, then that may be a bit too long. And one other thing about that eight week lead time is uh, when my father ordered both of his holsters, this uh, level three and then just this other FCS, uh, that was before the pandemic happened. And back then they only had a two week lead time and uh, I think they actually completed it before that lead time. So historically they were really fast. Uh, in my case, they really did take eight weeks. Hopefully that goes down in the future, but as of recording this video, it is still really, really long. Then one other thing I would say, uh, somewhat a complaint, not really, but I do wish that they would have offered a version of their holster that has uh, an option to carry a, an additional mag on it, because uh, I do like to carry an additional mag for concealed carry. Currently, I just carry it in one of my pouches on my, uh, or one of my pockets on my pants, which is slow as hell, but it works. Uh, it would be a lot faster if I could get that on a holster but that's something that would also change based on how I'm carrying it. You know, like I said, sometimes I'll be carrying it at three o'clock and uh, that would be something I'd only use when it's um, appendix carried. But I do believe that covers everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. So hopefully you found this informative. Thank you for watching. Uh, as for me in the future, uh, I do think this is a great holster. I do plan on getting another of their holsters. Uh, I'm gonna get one of their FCSs to go on my war belt. But uh, that'll be a bit of a ways out. Gonna be finishing, uh, you know, different priorities and all that. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and see you all in the next one.